As long as there's blood and nudity, I am all about that. <laughs> Tiffany Shepis, Blood and Nudity. <laughs> Starring Ron Fitzgerald, HMO, Blood and Nudity, <laughs> Tiffany Shepis. It's just a happy little film we like to call Sex and Death. <laughs> or Sadeth. 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 Or Death and Sex. Dex. You know, it depends, it's already a series. It depends on how legal that is as to which order the sex and death came in. Well, that's true. What do you think about uh, trying to do a, a horror television show? I like it. Let's host. Come on. Yeah. Okay, let's go. That would be great. We could host it. I'm and, in. Uh, you, you would be like the star guy in each of the episodes. We could do, remember the uh, show that was on um, the Friday the 13th show? Yeah, the, about the shop about the, of, about the shop of antiques. I, I actually like that concept quite a bit. They didn't go far enough with it, you know, because there could have been more sex and death in it. But <laughs> I would. <laughs> I don't know. It was TV. Well, you, you put it on HBO or some, you know, pay channel where you can just do nasty, gory, naked stuff. Nasty, gory, naked stuff. Yes. Ron Fitzgerald. Thank you, everybody. Vote for me. <laughs> this is the debate. This is the political debate tonight. Ron Fitzgerald has just announced he will be running for the presidency of the United States. I am. I am running. You know, I'm thinking what we need is a real departure from um, all American politics. And you need a wild card. Uh, no, look, look at the haircut. Look at the clothes. I look like a supervillain. No one will mess with us. It's all good. Vote for me in 08. Uh, do you, well, do you have a supervillain laugh? Was that good enough? That was awesome. Thank you. That was great. I wet him. I did. You wet him? What? What? Never mind. No. Never. Okay. So he'll be running for the president. Where do you stand on uh, taxes? Um, um, I say we take our taxes from another country. Oh, so we just take our taxes from another country and then pay them? Um, no, we will collect taxes from all the other countries. Oh, but we won't have tax. Oh, no. Well, just, uh, no. No taxes. No taxes. Um, what about uh, employment for everyone? Um, yeah, if they want to, sure. But only if they want. They can all work for me because I'm an evil supervillain. So, yeah. You could all be in horror movies. Every American will have the opportunity to be in a horror flick. HMO, <laughs> Tiffany Shepard, <laughs> Ron Fitzgerald. And you will have an HMO. Sex and death. <laughs> Sex and death, HMO, <laughs> Ron Fitzgerald. Um, so where, uh, how, what do you feel, uh, what are your thoughts on um, adoption? I like it. Adopt the kids. For what reason? Um, I mean, let's be honest. Well, I'm not going to tell you for what reason. You are a super villain. I am a super villain. But are you going to use them for testing? Uh, well, um, no. I'm thinking we would take the current administration and use them for all our testing that we currently use animals for. Excellent. Huh? You'd have, like, the president and his whole cabinet, like, in really bad makeup to see if it, like, gives them rashes and stuff? And probes yes. with electrical things, and then you're, yes. like, unnecessary surgery? Yes! I like that. That's good. Remember what he did to you, New Orleans? Yes. <laughs> Vote for me in 08. <laughs> <laughs> Vote Fitzgerald. That's right. Okay. Or be killed. I need a running mate. Are you in? I am. Oh, so no, I might need a female running mate, so you might have to go and drag. Okay. Because we're going to have to do something about this Sarah Palin situation. I think another female running mate. Yeah. Well, pretty soon, pretty soon, her bad human suit is going to fall off, and people are going to see her. <laughs> they will see the alien within. They will see the alien within. Some sort of screaming. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I think she's just like made out of like garbage, and in the middle of it is a small alien man controlling her with pushers and you know levers and. Uh, like some sort of animatronic that we would get? Yeah, like, like some horrible animatronic that's been frozen for centuries. Wow, I'd actually pay to see that, actually. I'm full of ideas. I mean, I'm, t I'm you telling are. you, that I'm an idea machine. If you ever need ideas for films or whatever, I've got them. Let's go. Come HMO. On. Let's make some. I like your TV idea. Let's do it. Okay, we're going to do... Uh, I'm you've, for that. Now, you've heard it. Ron Fitzgerald told me, Jeff McLean, that we will host a television horror series. I'm in. Let's do it. Come on, make it happen. <laughs> and her reaction slow. 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 Come on, act out. With a mix of guilt, satisfaction, and gut bleeding emptiness, Mark turned and ran to the kitchen and back up the stairs. I hate this place. Not the Chicago Horror Film Fest. He yelled over his shoulder, stopping heavily up the hardwood stairs.